red herring here and today is menstrual hygiene day and in honor of this day uh, I have a few uh, specials to share with you the first special that I want to share with you today is brought to you by the Lena cup and uh, they are promoting this day by offering all of us 30% off of one of their cups. Uh, you can order one cup only uh, in either of the two sizes that they offer. And that is from their Amazon listing. And I will leave all of the information to all of the offers that I have today in the description below. Um, websites, the discount codes, when they end. Actually, I'll include when they end here. Um, and uh, any hashtags or anything like that, all in the description below. But uh, if you have been thinking about getting the Lena Cup, 30% off is an awesome deal. Make sure you pick this up today. The second deal that I want to share with you is from the Super Jenny Company. The Super Jenny Company is offering a discount of 15% off of any and all of their menstrual cups. You can order one, two, three, or five, and you will get a 15% discount. They have free shipping to the United States and also a flat rate shipping to international, uh, international buyers. Um, and they are only offering this discount or it's only valid on their website. So again, all of their information will be in the description below. The last special I want to share with you is from the Eva Cup. And uh, they are actually not having a discount, but they are having a international giveaway. So it is open to everyone. And there, there will be three lucky winners. Um, here is when it is going to end. So make sure you visit their Facebook page, like, share, and comment on the post, which will be included in the description below. Um, and good luck to everyone. The last special I have is actually not a discount or a giveaway, but I wanted to give a shout out to my buddy Jennifer, Jennifer Lewis. Uh, thank you for being my friend. Uh, you're awesome. Happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Mwah. So in honor of the menstrual hygiene day, I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of background of uh, the things that I was taught uh, when I first started my period. And um, I kind of have to hurry on this because I do have some company coming over today, so uh, I'm just going to kind of try to keep it short, but when I first started my period, I lived with my grandmother, uh, or my my father and my two sisters, and I lived with my grandmother and grandfather in Hawaii, and I was um, just about 12 years old, and honestly, I thought I pooped my pants. Uh, the blood was brown and my sister scolded me and she's like, why didn't you tell me? And it's because I was shame. I honestly thought that I pooped my pants and she was like, no, you started your period. So um, she was very open with me about uh, menstrual items and menstrual talk actually about anything. Uh, she was kind of my, my mom because my mom lived in, in California and we lived in Hawaii, so she was the one that was teaching me those kinds of things. Anyhow, um, we didn't really have pads in the house. My Both of my sisters were older, um, and so tampons were the only thing that I had to work with. And I felt fine with it. I didn't, I, I didn't have any kind of worries or, you know, I didn't have any desire to use a uh, pad because it, it wasn't available. I mean, it was just not something that they used, so I didn't really know about it. Uh, I had no problems using the tam tampons. We used Tampax at that time, and um, my grandmother used to have this ritual for us where we would sit at the table and she'd have a stack of newspapers, and they would be cut into squares about yay big, and um, we would have to fold them in half create a crease there, open it, fold uh, the corner or the side to the, the, 
the, the crease in the middle and then fold the other side to the crease in the middle and then fold all of that up like this and then it was um, put into a Tampax box underneath the sink and so whenever we needed to throw away our tampon we would put it in this newspaper, wrap it up nicely and throw it in the trash and because we lived in Hawaii it was always hot and humid and so the trash would fill up quite uh, fast since there was uh, three girls that were bleeding in the house uh, and that had to be uh, thrown out probably on a daily basis. I don't know because I didn't I didn't empty the trash at that time. So over the years I had grown up and, and uh, used this method of disposing of my tampons. Uh, we started to use OB. My sister bought OB so I had to change because I didn't buy tampons. Uh, so I used uh, OB Ultra Super Plus. Um, you could find them back then, but you can't really find them now. I, I think something to do with TSS, but I'm not positive because I don't use them anymore. Um, I can sometimes find them at like the smaller um, drug stores, Walgreens, Rite Aid, stuff like that. Sometimes they have it, sometimes I don't see them for a long time, but it's not like I'm looking anymore. So, uh, So after I had my daughter and pretty much till till I started to use menstrual cups I was bleeding just profusely a lot so much consistently um, I did have the Norplant for one year and I didn't bleed at all and then after that the two years after that that I had the Norplant I just bled every single day and it was heavy and um, it was giving me so much problems that my now husband was like you know what take it out and you know the the girl is three years old maybe we should have a baby so um, yeah I took it out and my period started to taper a little bit get a little bit shorter and um, a little bit lighter so I was still using tampons at the time I was still having to change my clothes several times a day um, and I was looking for something else so uh, it was actually 1996 when I first started to use the soft cups. I, I found that looking in a magazine and I was actually looking for something else and that's a whole nother story that I'm not going to get into. Um, but a little snippet, I was a stripper for a while so I was looking for something not to have hanging outside of my body a string or, or whatever. Um, there was a little, uh, a little trick that they used but um, I was just looking for something else. So I used cups in 1996 and then again in 2000 and it just didn't work out for me. Um, at, at the time, most houses in Hawaii didn't have a computer, uh, so I didn't have any access to actually looking up to see, you know, for troubleshooting or anything like that. Um, and I just kind of uh, left it alone. Um, and I continued to use the Ultra Super Plus tam OB tampons, and I continued to wrap it how my grandmother taught how my grandmother taught me to. Um, and then when we moved into I, fast forward now, I had both both of my children I'm married. Um, I'm living in Washington, and uh, we end up renting this house that had a septic tank, and I didn't know anything about septic tanks. And um, like the f maybe one and a half years into living there, uh, we started to just throw our tampons in the toilet. I guess we, my daughter and I, because she was bleeding already, um, my daughter and I just got tired of of putting our items into a separate trash can, and um, because I had one of those that you step on it and the lid fly. Uh, opens and then you just you know put your trash in and it closes so I think we just got tired of doing that we've started flushing our tampons and um, the septic tank either broke or overflowed but uh, we had to call somebody to come out and there were tampons the length of the house in the yard it, they were everywhere and because we bled so much we had a lot of tampons in the yard that was awful. 
So we move out of that house and uh, we end up in another house with a septic tank. In fact, the next two houses that we end up in have septic tanks. The one that we ended up buying, this house now, has a septic tank as well. So because I didn't want that whole fiasco to happen again, um, when we rented our last, uh, the house that we were renting prior to buying this house, um, I got one of those trash cans again and we started to use that and um, it was just it s smelled we were bleeding so much both of us had a lot of clots and heavy and lasted our periods lasted a long time um, that the if it was not emptied every single day we would miss one day and and the thing would stink it would be full um, my daughter wasn't very clean about it. She would like use a bloody hand to zip lock the the bag. Actually, let me rewind that. I because it started to stink. Sorry, it, because it started to stink. I I got sandwich sandwich bags, not sandwich bags, snack bags, snack bags from the dollar store, and I told her to you know put put your tampon or pad tampon and pad into a bag before you put it into the trash can. So we were doing that, but then she kind of got lazy, started to use a bloody hand to zip up the bag, and then she would throw it in there. So blood was still being exposed, and it would, you know, just smell, and um, I was just so over it. So then we bought this house, and um, my husband, in the process of buying this house, my husband had a heart attack. And in fact, we were in the hospital um, when he signed the papers, the closing papers from escrow to buy this house. So uh, when that happened, you know, that the doctor bills started to roll in. We had a mortgage now and um, just a lot of things were going on. And I was trying to figure out a way to uh, cut some of our costs. I started off making hand sewing um, cloth pads and I made them for myself and my daughter and we used them but we bled through them so fast that we would have to hand wash it and then um, hang it up so that we can use it in a few hours. Um, and there, there's been a few times where I put wet pads in my, uh, in my underwear um, and I did make quite a bit but like I said we were bleeding so much and there was two of us that we were just going through them so fast. And I was looking for a pattern online and I found this huge community that also used reusable cloth pads and I was just dumb, dumbfounded. I couldn't believe there was other people that did this. Um, and you know, I did hear of the Diva Cup in the past, but I just never really, I was like, oh yeah, soft cups, but, um, they were nothing like soft, um, the, the menstrual cups now, uh, that are out on the market are nothing like, um, like soft cups. So I, I was looking, you know, reading and stuff. And that's when I ended up buying one of the, I bought the Diva Cup and, um, it was a life changer. It was really, really a life changer. Um, so when I changed over to the Diva Cup, I told my daughter that I was I was done with tampons and pads. So if she wanted um, to continue to use disposable, she had to buy them herself. She was old, older. Uh, she was working. Uh, and so I told her, you know, you're responsible for them, you empty the trash and stuff, so uh, that all happened, and like, she used disposables maybe for a month and asked me, can I, can I try one of the cups? So she tried it and it worked well for her, and so now her favorite cup is the Super Jenny Large. And she uses it almost every day because she does have stress incontinence uh, while she's at work. Um, so we have no more trash that is going out. And if you think about it, the, the hygiene of it um, and the eco-friendly aspect of it, um, we are no longer using uh, disposable pads and tampons. Uh, we stopped buying the snack bags to throw our menstrual items in 
and then the plastic um, grocery bag that we would put all of those bags in and tie it up and throw it into the trash where it would end up in a landfill and polluting and rotting and um, the bacteria and blah blah blah. So, um, you know, I didn't get into menstrual cups uh, for the echo aspect of it, but it has really opened my eyes to how much waste we had been contributing to our environment. So that was my story about uh, the menstrual hygiene uh, over the years have changed for me and for my daughter. And um, I know I did go off kind of a little bit. I tried not to really. And I know that I didn't really look at the camera because I'm talking to you personally one-on-one -on -one about myself. And so that makes me uncomfortable. But um, I hope you found something helpful. If you did or thought I was really silly and stupid, give me a thumbs up anyway. <laughs> And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, make sure you check out all of the websites that I have included or all the links that I have included down below in the description. Um, buy your Lenica, buy your Super Jenny, uh, and don't forget to um, enter to win a free menstrual cup from the Eva Cup Company. If you have any additional questions or want me to elaborate on anything else that I talked about in this video, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Um, do you wear cloth, cloth pads or do you wear menstrual cups? Are you interested in a menstrual cup? Um, let me know in the comments and uh, I can direct you to some of the awesome products that are out there in the market if you're not interested in one of these three that I talked about in this video or that was at the beginning of this video. So happy menstrual hygiene day everyone. Take care.